What is very fascinating in the show, this is the diversity of researches. And it's possible in the exhibition to see the kind of encyclopedia of the most accurate research in computational architecture today, with many, many possible applications. And those applications demonstrate what will be architecture and urbanism in the future. The new thematic which appears in three years is AI, Architectural Intelligence, which changed completely uh, the way to proceed, which is explored by the students and which will open for them with many, many professions in the future. Seeing everyone's finished work in the space feels wonderful. Uh, a lot of people have been working really hard for the last months to a year, so I think a lot of people are very happy to kind of see it all culminate to what it is today. I think the most rewarding thing about the creative process is that because it's so hard, once you finally have something that you like and enjoy, it's the most rewarding aspect of anything in my life. Being able to be part of this bigger community called the Bartlett and getting to show your work through this lens, I find really nice. What excites me the most, being under the same roof at the same time as all these other inspiring people that are also equally as passionate about their projects that you might have no idea about, I already saw some from walking around that I'm very excited to see who created it. The Bipro show is targets more on future things. We we thought this is good for our future, so we make it. Like when they are discussing some like politics or social problems, and like architecture now, they are not strongly focused on that, but people are discussing it to try to make the architecture better in the future. So people learn, like learn from people show about what the future of architects will be. We're in a moment of. of cultural change more broadly and a moment of change in architectural education and practice. And that moment of change is towards a more racially, socially, environmentally just future for the built environment. And I think the show signals that direction really strongly for the school.